one of America's key allies has officially joined forces with Russia in one of the most significant de-dollarization initiatives we've witnessed to date. If you're not yet taking the BRICS organization and de-dollarization seriously, we'll be breaking down several global trends and what this means for the future of the US dollar. This all began a couple of weeks ago when India's Prime Minister Modi flew to Moscow to personally meet with Vladimir Putin. The two leaders discussed bilateral trade between their nations, which reached $65 billion last year, a remarkable 33% increase from the previous year. India is now the largest buyer of Russian oil, and as this graph shows, it has increased its purchases of Russian oil by an astonishing 1,000% since the 2022 invasion of Ukraine. This is a significant development because despite the US and its allies imposing over 16,000 sanctions on Russia, more than 85% of the world hasn't agreed to them. Russia is finding creative ways, like this partnership with India, to circumvent these sanctions. However, the latest deal between India and Russia is on another level and will change everything for the BRICS alliance. For the first time, Russia and India will implement a new payment system that allows seamless cross-border transactions without using US dollars. This is significant because it's the beginning of a large-scale international effort by countries to move away from the US dollar and set up cross-border transactions in local currencies. At the end of their meeting, Putin and Modi set a goal of achieving $100 billion in trade revenue between Russia and India by 2030, solidifying this partnership for the rest of the decade and giving us a glimpse of what's next for the BRICS organization. In fact, the real beneficiary of de-dollarization has been gold, with all BRICS members increasing their gold holdings at a faster rate than the rest of the world since 2018. Now, one-third of all central banks globally plan to increase their gold reserves in 2024. Once again, the 16,000 US sanctions against Russia have not significantly stopped Russia's war in Ukraine. Instead, they have accelerated the move of more countries away from the US dollar towards purchasing gold. Russia will now host the BRICS presidential summit this October, continuing to build this new BRICS payment system and discussing which new countries will join the alliance in 2025. Andrei Kostin, the CEO of Russia's VTB Bank, stated, We BRICS must develop our own settlement system that includes the Global South, enabling us to conduct transactions in our own national currencies and not the US dollar. India is positively inclined towards working with Russia. For many months, there was speculation that BRICS would launch an entirely new currency but the alliance has shifted focus to this new cross-border payment system. It's a smart move, as using homegrown payment systems and local currencies will save BRICS millions in exchange rates, while also strengthening their local currencies and economies. But it's not just Russia and India making deals. China also wants to use more of its local currency and has launched the cross-border interbank payment system, CIPS, which settles international transactions directly in renminbi. In the past 12 months, CIPS added 62 direct participants and now has over 1,500 participants globally with access to China's new payment system. This adds to the growing trend of countries moving away from the strict restrictions of using US dollars and the US-controlled SWIFT banking system. Recently, major news broke in Guangdong as China officially launched the first real trade service of its central bank digital currency. This is a significant development for the future of BRICS. China is by far the most advanced nation in digital currency development, with estimates suggesting China has a 10-year lead on the United States in this area. To be fair, with the US dollar's status as the world's reserve currency, there hasn't been much motivation by the US government to develop its own digital currency. Conversely, China's government hopes its investments in digital currencies will pay off much like their early investments in the EV industry 25 years ago. China went from zero to hero in the EV industry over the past two decades and is now the dominant EV power in the world. China's digital currency will reduce transaction costs and improve the efficiency of cross-border transactions, potentially becoming the key technology for future trade between BRICS members. Interestingly, last week, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, revised its World Economic Outlook, 
and the latest predictions for BRICS member countries against their Western counterparts might surprise you. The IMF revised higher its outlooks for China and India to 5% and 7% respectively, while the United States is the only G7 nation forecasted to grow above 1%. The entire euro area is forecasted to grow by just 0.9%, with Germany, Europe's economic powerhouse, projected to have the lowest growth rate of any developed nation at only 0.2%. This stark contrast shows six BRICS members, China, India, Russia, Brazil, South Africa, and Saudi Arabia, experiencing some of the best growth predictions for the remainder of 2024. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos about BRICS development, power and influence on the world. Let's continue now. This was further detailed in an article from the New York Times, predicting the cooling of the US economy. It's refreshing to see some truth reported on this matter, because for most of the year, the dominant headline has been about China's economy being on the verge of collapse due to weak consumer spending and a softening job market. But that's precisely how the IMF described the US economy. Just look at this graph forecasting economic growth, and you'll see why the IMF describes Asia's emerging markets as the main engine for the global economy, with growth in China and India accounting for nearly half of all global growth. The reality is that inflation remains a major issue in the US economy. The national debt is increasing at a historic rate of nearly $1 trillion every 100 days, and the US faces significant political uncertainty. As a result, more nations globally are losing faith in the US political system. For proof, look at this chart showing the US is no longer seen as a shining example of democracy. Even some of America's strongest allies, like Germany, Great Britain and Canada, agree that the United States used to be a good example but hasn't been in recent years, with nearly a quarter of Brits and Germans feeling the US has never been a good example. The race for the US presidency extends beyond US borders, and the outcome will have global ramifications. The new IMF report noted the potential for significant swings in economic policy due to elections this year, with negative spillovers to the rest of the world, increasing uncertainty. Let me give you a concrete example. Trump introduced tariffs on Chinese goods in 2016. Biden expanded those tariffs in 2020. Recently, Bloomberg reported a potential 60% tariff could be imposed on Chinese goods if Trump wins back the White House. However, analysts have missed the mark because US tariffs have done little to affect China's exports, as China has started producing more for countries in the global south, resulting in exponential growth in their share of exports. U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods would only hurt American consumers, and Trump is bluffing because he recently suggested welcoming China to build their dominant EV car for American consumers. Who knows who will win the presidency this November? What are your thoughts on the recent de-dollarization efforts by BRICS countries? Do you think this will significantly impact the global economy? How do you see the new payment systems between Russia and India influencing international trade? Do you believe China's advancements in digital currency will give it a significant edge over the US in the coming years? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally BRICS is developing and growing its influence over the world. Thanks for watching and until the next video, stay tuned.